G'day guys and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I, I really hope everyone is coping with everything that's going on right now regarding something that I'm not even going to mention actually just because I think that we need distractions from stuff like that and especially good distractions so hopefully this is a good distraction it was for me has been um, and I hope you hang around a while while we get into this so firstly I'd like to to thank a few people who you know have supported inspired uh, enlightened me on this journey people like John Levy of course as well as Martin Lidka I think the two generals in this topic you know they really have done some, some great work and the contributions are well known as well as people like Autodidactic, Boogeyman, Wooden Nichols, UAP and of course uh, Quantum of Science just for being real and just telling it how it is regardless of if he and I agree on everything it's not the point I feel like as people it's it's healthy to discuss and disagree and that's how we we learn on this journey so first of all this is my first video and I do apologize about the quality it is all done on a mobile phone right now that's just the way it is but I'd like to start uh, my video career uh, by reading to you an essay uh, detailing Tartaria and I didn't write it I found it on the internet in a forum and I'm actually not going to display any links to it a lot of you do know it already the reason being is it's one of those forums which uh, requires membership uh, cash membership and I'm not really interested in that and it's not because of that it's because of the forums topics itself do not bode well with me I think the next topic was to do with aliens in out of space and something that I think is ridiculous so what I'm trying to say is this essay although found in a very questionable site does bring up many claims uh, of events that have happened in our timeline our historic timeline where there's a lot of holes we just don't know and considering everything that the people I've mentioned earlier have found and already uh, presented in many videos you know it really made me think about this essay more deeply and, and want to know more about the holes that we need to fill in our history um, so this essay uh, although written by one person uh, put together as one single uh, essay was definitely the work of, of many researchers and collaborators uh, squeezed into one manageable timeline and a few paragraphs I excuse the dog sorry about that and uh, what I found is when I did research more and I even try contacting the original guy who, who wrote it I could not get in touch with him and he will not write back to me um, and on further research I found paragraphs found within the essay on uh, other websites so he himself didn't write it completely so those who are going to write uh, that this is stolen and someone else's work that's fine but I can tell you confidently that he stole a lot of it and that's not the point I think the point is that we listen to the message within this and you know we take what we can out of it we filter out what we want uh, and we continue our journey from there in whichever direction it, it leads us lastly you know please feel free to comment uh, if you disagree with anything or if you feel like uh, something was overlooked or missed you know I really think that you know we can't get an accurate view of the big picture without looking at it from every angle so I'm extremely open-minded and always open to new ideas within reason to a point <laughs> don't talk about aliens I guess uh, but we probably all started there, you know, that's how we got here. So anyway, let's begin with this essay, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. The vast empire of Tartary is a country that appears on ancient maps. It had worldwide influence, and once covered North and South America, Australia, New Zealand, most of Russia, China, Europe, Japan, India, and Korea. 
for most part the citizens of this country were led by their own guidance of natural law honoring truth and integrity they enjoyed a high standard of living dwelt in harmony with nature they built amazing edifices all over the world the wondrous cathedrals of Europe the enormous aqueducts of southern Europe in Mex and in Mexico the Grand Canal in China and the Erie Canal in America the fabulous outside arenas around the Mediterranean Sea the Colosseum in Rome and the magnificent temples in St. Petersburg, Russia. They lived in luxuriant villas. They made ziggurats, star forts, dolmens and earthen mounds, all which utilized etheric natural energy. They created exquisite statues and crafted golden ornaments. They even built the Great Wall in what is now China. Marco Polo wrote an extensive detailed account of Asia in the 13th, 14th century, did not once mention a wall. The Great Wall is not seen predating uh, the late 1600s on any maps, so its construction occurred in the 1700s, and it was built to keep the encroaching Chinese out of Tartaria. The openings on the wall are on the north side, towards the former Tartary, not on the south China south facing China side. It should be called the Great Wall of Tartaria. The further back in time you go, the more advanced it gets. There are pyramids of different kinds, megalithic temples hewn out of solid rock, the Ellora Caves in India, the colossal underground monolithic churches of Lalibela in Ethiopia, extensive underground tunnel systems the astonishing Serapeum of Saqqara, Egypt. The, er the earlier the monolithic stone, the bigger it is and the more precision it is cut with. The earlier the structure, the more incapable we are of replicating it. Never once was mortar used. In past ages, the world was more diverse. Skeletons of giants are found all on all continents and remains of beings with elongated skulls graveyards of little people and horned human-like entities have been unearthed. Now it's as if these things never existed. Like the Tartarians, they are never mentioned. We live in a virtual reality where true history is ignored <coughs> excuse me, and covered up. A totally false nav narrative is taught. Fantasies have replaced truth and everything is pushed way back into the remote past. Older advanced structures are credited to local people who came later and have no idea how to build them. Deception has been utilized to push history back a thousand years and create an artificial dark age. The time of Jesus was less than 1000 years ago. In the Middle Ages, the I and J before the numbers designated Jesus and not the number one. For example, I-346 is the year 346 after the time of Jesus, not 1346. Way back in the Old Testament, at a time immediately following the Exodus, it states that the Israelites used the Ark of the Covenant as a weapon of war against the Amorites, Midianites, and Philistines. So the use of energy weapons has been going on for over a thousand years. It was perfected to the point where it was able to take out many millions of Tartarians. The energy weapons melted cities and destroyed the civilizations of Egypt, Greece, and Rome, which were approximately at the same period as Jesus and were heavily influenced by Tartaria. Not only are they pushed way back into remote history, the extent of their empires have been fabricated. Destroying the pyramid complex was the first objective of the Israelites. Pumapunku, which is part of the Tiwanaku complex in Bolivia, had interlocking megaliths of andesite and diorite. These types of granite are only surpassed in hardness by diamonds, but they were somehow carved with laser-like flatness and precision. Now they're broken and shattered and blown to bits. Tiwanaku and Pumapunku is said to have been built by a simple local migrating tribe. This idea is used all over the world to dismiss and cover up the ancient advanced cultures. Energy weapons from the Ark of the Covenant is what brought down the walls of Jericho. The Ark was an electrical capacitator composed of silver and brass alloys and gilded with gold. 
Its true purpose was to store direct energy from the Earth to outside sources, but transporting it around was very dangerous, and it caused people to become sick and die. It had a constant radiation, and it also sent out intermittent electrical surges, where many people were killed instantly. The ones who carried it had to wear protective clothing. The electrical capacity of such an apparatus would be over 500 volts. Opposing armies would be defenseless against such a weapon. The volume or cubic capacity of the empty coffer inside the king's chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza is exactly the same volume as the Ark of the Covenant. According to Egyptian tradition, the Israelites plundered Egypt during the upheaval at the time of the Exodus. They took the Ark out of the so-called king's chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza at this time. The tribe of Israel also used religion as a means to get their foot in the door in the ruling affairs of, of foreign countries. A religious leader holds great power, able to influence many simple minds who believe the leader's edicts are from God. The Druids, the Druids who held such sway in England were Jewish, so were the Jesuits, so have been all the popes and the Mormon leaders. The reason why Jewish people look, upon, look down upon Christians is because they know they invented the Christian religion. Jewish beliefs are just a rendition of the former appearances and interactions of planetary gods. Books written in Tartary were rewritten and sold as Jewish, Jewish history. Much of the content was fabricated and interfused with traditional local belief systems. This is how they sold their religion. They used monks to write what they wanted, making them think they were doing God's work. The burning of the books, the rewriting of them in order to change history, is the real reformation. The Library of Alexandria in Egypt was purposely destroyed to limit this knowledge. Making deals with kings was a way these people were able to get a control of a country's financial system. Once one controls the money supply and its allotment, allotments, then they control the country. In this way, righteous kings were replaced by insurgent kings who defrauded the people to take part in unjust wars. Just fake an event such as a murder, blame it on another country, add some patriotic religious slogans, demonize the other country and you've created a war. In the Middle Ages, the spraying of viruses not only eliminated entire villages, it caused the Black Plague, which killed off over 70 million people in Europe. Disease was a favourite weapon used against the Tartarian Kingdom. In I-346, at the Siege of Kaffa, in the Ukraine, the Tartarians suffered an epidemic of plague brought on by the catapulting of viruses into the city. Fire was used to burn their crops and create famine. In I-490, saw the first signs of the collapse of Tartary, and in I-666, the city of London was intentionally burned. Tartaria was severely weakened in 775, but it remained until the early 800s, when Napoleon attacked Russia. Moscow was hit by an energy weapon, so was Washington DC in the War of I-812. These wars were actually against Tartarians. The first two world wars were to wipe out the remaining Tartarian influences. Genghis Khan was said to be a mogul. Mogul is just a made up name which is then associated with Mongolia. Genghis Khan fought to restore the kingdom of Tartary and reclaim their land. His mounted warriors were called Tartars. Now Tartary is associated with hell in the modern day. Many buildings in America demolished or still standing said to be built by early prisoners, pioneers or native people in America were in fact built by the Tartars. Disease was also used against the native people in Americas. It is estimated that 95% of, the of them perished from disease, mostly smallpox. The Aztecs looked upon the Spaniards as the returning of their light-coloured god. Their beliefs harkened back to the events in the ancient sky when the light-coloured god came down from the heavens to save them. But these light-coloured people came to kill them. The, new world, the old world order was replaced by the new world order and the Gregorian calendar was instituted to force the common people to accept a new false chronology. 
peace and freedom has been replaced by being fenced up in strict borders. The suppression of Tartary coincides with the new teachings of evolution. We just think we are evolving. We have become disconnected with nature and disconnected with reality. It was not always like that. The farther back in time you go, the more connected and at peace we were with ourselves, with the animals and with the land we lived on. So that's where I'm going to leave today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, definitely going to be delving into this topic and especially parts of that essay into the future as well as uh, you know other topics that interest me. It's not just Tartaria. Uh, definitely the mud flood, the reset, flat earth definitely uh, got me here so I'm going to show pay tribute to that and hopefully you can join me for the next one which I've got planned really soon and I hope you all have a great rest of your day or evening. My name is Phil and this is Tartarian Zephyr. Have a great day.